Hey, this is Mandu here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to learn how to create a text grid in After Effects using a single text layer and a repeat function. Let's dive in. In After Effects, rather than manually copying and pasting to replicate text, you can efficiently do so with the repeat function within a text layer source text property. For instance, we have a text layer that says Hello World over here, right? Let's open the drop down. And then let's go to our source text property over here and hold Alt on Windows or Option on Mac and click on the stopwatch. Now we want to create a variable called S to store the value. So this will be whatever we type into the text layer. And then we hit enter. And then we want to specify, create a variable to specify how many times we want to repeat the text. And let's call this num column. And we'll do semicolon and then type in row dot, uh, actually, actually let's type in, let's create a variable called row as equals to s dot repeat parentheses and then the num columns, right? Click on it and you can see that the text has repeated five times. A quicker way of writing this code actually is to type in value dot repeat parentheses and then the number of times you want to repeat it. So you can type in five and it'll still be the same thing. Right, but for our learning purpose, this is you know better because we're breaking down you know each line of code into steps, and we can understand uh, everything. Okay, this is great, but what if we want to create a uniform grid instead? Well, all we have to do is to use another repeat function with some small modification to our code. So let's create a new variable called num rows is equals to 10. So this will allow us to specify the number of rows that we want. And at the end of each row, what we want to do is to insert a line break and we can type in plus a double quote backslash R and this will create a carriage return at the end of each row and type in semicolon. And we'll type in row dot repeat parentheses num columns no sorry num rows okay and you can see we have our text grid and you can actually change the number over here and just kind of speed up our process we can go into we can create a slider control and go to effect expression control and then slider control and call this one num rows right um, and then if you have fx console uh, you can quickly access slider control, cre uh, create an effect uh, just by using FX control. Uh, search bar, it's free. Uh, it's kind of is created by Video Copilot. Highly recommend you to use it. And we'll rename this slider to be num columns. And then we will link them. So let's link the columns over here. And we'll link the rows to this slider control and let's make it more intuitive by having column first and then after that let's change the value to be 510 now we want to be have this text grid be centered right in the middle of composition rather than manually doing ourselves like shifting it like that uh, we can do so with another expression by uh, going to the anchor point and then holding alt or option on mac and click on the stopwatch we're going to type in s is equals to source rec at time semicolon and then square bracket s dot left plus s dot width divided by two comma s dot top plus s dot height divided by two what this does basically it's kind of like measuring the whole uh, size of the of our text layer and then centering it, right? So this is the expression. And so when we change our, say, number of row to be, say, five, you can see it remains in the center, right? Making our life very easy. I'm gonna switch it back to eight, right? Uh, or maybe let's do 10, right? Let's do 10, so we get more, uh, more text rows. Okay, so this is great. We're almost done, now let's, you know, think about how do we kind of make this more interesting? How do we animate this? How do we, you know, introduce color, right? Let's just say we want to alternate the text uh, direction, right? So each row, 
So I want the first row to be, you know, uh, going in one direction, and then even row should be going in the opposite direction. We can do so with the text animator. So we can go over here, click on animate, and add in position. We can get rid of the range selector and go add in an expression selector instead. All right. And open it up, switch it to lines, right? Because we want to reference the text index based on each line rather than character or words, right? There is already an inbuilt expression here. So if you, act, if you put in like 100, notice it's cascading to the right hand side. We can write our own expression to alternate the row position. And all we have to do is just to retain the text index, right? And we can type in mod2. So mod will give you the remainder uh, after you divide it by the number uh, of two over here. So one uh, mod two will give you a remainder of like one. Uh, this could, you know this is all just whole numbers. It's not in decimals. Two mod two will give you a remainder of zero, and then three mod two will give you a remainder of one. And this whole so you the the result the output is always one two one two one two right. Uh, th and this is how we differentiate between odd and even row numbers. Okay, so text index mod two. We're gonna type in uh, equals equals to zero question mark. So this is telling After Effects that if if it's an odd number, right? Let's do amount of one hundred colon negative one hundred, right? And you can see it reverse. You know the odd number is going. Uh, it's going to the left hand side and then after that uh, the even rows are going to the right hand side and we can increase the position like that and we can introduce a point control right and option click on the stopwatch over here and connect it there set this back to zero and then we have an animated we have a control we in just on just over here in this panel, right? So we can start to animate this. Perhaps start it at 47, go to five second, maybe go increase to 450, and press N, right? We're gonna trim this part. And let's also introduce more uh, columns so we don't get the blanks over here. And we'll play it, right? So we got a a pretty simple animation going on, right? Pretty fun. And you can even add color, format each line, right? Odd and even line uh, line color. Let's rename this text animator to be Alt. And then uh, we'll type in line so we can know that it's affecting alternate lines. We can go into property, go to fill color, RGB, and I can also create a color control. And then after that, option click on the stopwatch and link it to our color control over here. So again, you know, quick making, helping us quickly accessing our controls uh, over in this panel, right? So that now you can see that we have formatted every even, uh, even line, okay? And if you want to reverse it, uh, you can duplicate this and change this to 100, negative 100. I'll show you an example. Uh, so rather than you know f changing even the, the line's color, what if I want to do word, okay? So let me duplicate this, get rid of the fill color, and go to the second one. Let's type alt word. We're going to get rid of the position as well and go to expression selector, and we're going to select words. We can open up the amount property, and right now it's formatting the word world to be blue, but what if I wanted the word hello to be blue instead? All we have to do is just type in uh, negative 100, by, and then colon 100, and this will kind of solve our problem. Okay, so now, Right, um, we can increase our number of columns to be, um, actually no, our number of rows to be 15 to fill up the whole, whole composition. Maybe let's do 20, right? 
this expression can slow down your after effects so you can start small before kind of scaling it up okay final step we make this wonderful wonderful text grid right and we want to save it as a preset so we don't ha always have to create this over and over again and it's all we have to do is just go into our layer properties over here we're going to select the text effects and also the transform we just want the anchor point so we are going to hold down control and you know select them just the anchor point and then we're going to save this out and i'm going to save this as demo text grid okay cool now now if i go to a new composition right and if I just I just save a preset and I can you know instantly use the save preset by uh, using the the shortcut Control Shift Alt F, and you should see that it automatically create a text layer and apply the effect. And if I were to play it, you know we have the text grid. Okay. Alternatively, right? What we can do is that we can just create a text layer, and the shortcut for creating a text layer is Control shift alt t and then you can apply the animation preset or you can use the recent animation preset whichever works and then it will appear again right now there's many ways to do you know one thing uh, find what works best for you uh, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe so we can share this knowledge with fellow motion designers i hope this helps with your creative journey and I'll see you next time.